Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're in my own suite because I've had a bit of a storage problem um, in my bathroom cabinet just for my skincare, just sort of cleansers and things like that. So I'll show you in a minute what I mean. And I've been looking for some little tubs to fit in my cabinet that will fit one fit and to organize everything properly. So I think I found a solution. I'm just going to show you. I was um, in home base the other day and um, we were looking, oh, went to get some compost for my mum. <laughs> anyway, we're in there and I saw these little tubs. Look at these. They had loads of different um, sizes. I took a photo of the display so I'll just pop that in here somewhere. And um, they're absolutely brilliant. You can sort of, actually I'll show you here. It shows you like different sort of sizes and things. And they're beautiful and they're so cheap so these were only £1.50 each and um, <clears throat> so they're narrow enough for my cabinet so this is what I've been having problems with was trying to find something where the door would actually shut um, so I'm just kind of wanted to sort of break it down into things like exfoliating cleansers and um, gel cleansers and um, oily cleansers that type of thing and um, yeah so we'll see how it goes I'm not sure if they're right, I only bought four, I might need more, I might not need that many, um, but I just thought I'd show you because they're such like beautiful looking um, little containers and even just for like in your, your beauty room, just like for keeping your little things in for like maybe your day to day stuff or like bubbles or even for your kitchen cupboards and that type of thing. So yeah, these ones were £1.50, they weren't very much at all and they're really really sturdy. So I'm going to show you the current situation that down in my cupboard so hang on a minute I'll turn you around right so currently this is just like my little um, bathroom cabinet here just in um, above the sink and right, I've got stuff all over I found these little plastic shelves and um, like dividers which used to be part of a different box system that I had but they're so um, shallow here they're not very high that stuff is if you're looking for something everything ends up falling out. So it's just a bit of a cluttered mess. Um, I have other stuff as well in the main family bathroom because if my husband's in bed sleeping and I need to take my makeup off, I will go to that bathroom to do it. So I need things in both bathrooms, but I just sort of keep basics in there. So um, yeah, I just thought let's try and get this sorted out. I've also brought some um, other bits and pieces I've had in my makeup room so I'll see what we've got try and divide it out and then probably some of it will go back into my room just waiting to replenish things in here so let's get started <music> So I think actually what I'm going to do is just get everything out first of all and start sorting it as I, as I take it out. Um, Mitchum is amazing um, deodorant if you've not used it. I've got a couple that need move, um, using up. Um, right. Oops. Yeah, still there. <laughs> um, and I might do a little bit of a declutter as we go as well if there's things that I don't really want. Some of these things I've forgotten I've even got. So that was just what I was using, just a little um, divider thing. I think these things will fit in nicely actually. I think they'll fit in really well. Let's just get it all out actually and then we will um, go from there. Just Oh, I forgot I had that. Molten brown. Yum, I love it. So this is some of Glenn's stuff. I'll leave him a little bit of space, I think. He doesn't even use much. He has a bit of aftershave on and his hair things. Right. Let me see. I'll let him have a bit of room, but I might need to rejig it. Okay, so you can see that these ones will fit in and I can shut the door. 
I had some others which looked okay, but they just came out a little bit too much and they wouldn't shut. So I'm not quite sure how I am going to have these in yet. Well, I'm having an each one, but I've got a kind of rough idea what I'm wanting. But until I start sorting them out, um, then I'm not totally sure. Um, I keep, um, as I say, I keep all my night creams and things in my other room. All my perfumes and things are in my other room. So don't be wondering where my perfumes are because they're just not in here. <laughs> I really, really like these tubs, um, and I think for £1.50, they're great. You can just even pick up one a week if you wanted, and then just start adding in. And I might end up um, getting some of the bigger ones as well, and just start getting my, my drawers and all my makeup and things really nicely organised and get it looking beautiful. But, I mean, it's not really the most important thing, but for me, I just need to get this so that things aren't falling out and I... Keep Glenn happy because you know what men are like. They think I've got too much stuff as it is. And they are probably right. So, okie dokie. So, might give me a bit of space there. Let's have a look. I need this one up here. I don't, it won't go that way. So they definitely have to go this. And yeah, I was right. You'll only take the, the four. I think he needs to declutter some of this because I don't think he's going to use this. I'm going to put this, <laughs> he's got a little shelf down here, I'm going to put his little shower gels there. Um, there, he's allowed four things. Bless him. Right then, so, I think what I'll do first of all, things that I use the most down here. So, um, the likes of this, which is amazing, I love this. So the Body Shop um, Cleansing Butter. Which, to be honest, I think is an absolutely brilliant rival for like your Elemis cleansing balm. It does just as good a job, but this is just a little bit more luxurious. But this Body Shop one, it takes off your mascara and everything, so I absolutely love it. So I'm going to put my cleansing balms and things in there. Um, this as well is beautiful by Beo. Um, this face polish, it just smells of oranges. Oh, love this as well. I've got a couple of these that I want to try, so I'm just going to put one in and I will um, put the other one back in my storage, I think. Right, I am done. So what I'm gonna do, I think I am going to get the camera in my hand and I'll show you how it's finished up. Then I'll show you what's inside each little basket and I'll show you what I have taken out of my cupboard and what I am putting where and why. And yeah, we're nearly done. It looks so much better already. So yeah, let's have a little look. So this is it finished here. So this looks a lot neater. Um, I'm really, really pleased with these little um, baskets and tubs. So I'll show you what I've got. So in this first um, tub here, I've got mainly sort of like oily cleansers and things, just things to get my makeup off properly. So we have the Body Shop um, Balm. Now I've got the Elemis Balm and the Temple Spa Balm. These are so nice. I've got a oil from Caudalie and another oil from Sanctuary Spa. A little um, cleanse and polish by Lizelle, and this one is a face polish from number seven. So that's there. Um, then moving along, these are mainly exfoliators and things like that. Um, so I've got the Dermalogica um, Daily Microfolium, which I adore. I absolutely love this. I also have two smaller ones in reserve. Um, so there's, um, I haven't used this yet, so a little um, papaya peel from Elemis. Um, a regenerating exfoliator, sort of dermabrasion thing from number seven. Oh, I'm interested to try this. This was this little soap we got in one of my beauty boxes. This looks really sort of quite a good little product to try. Um, another regenerator, again, not tried that. I need to get on with my skincare. I've been a bit slack recently. Um, this has been lovely. Um, 
it is it smells of oranges and it's a beautiful beautiful um facial scrub and i've been using this as well this is my second one and um, this is again it's quite nice i quite like a scrubby face scrub if that makes sense um moving up at the top i'll bring this down so um this is mostly um face washes and things like that so a lot of them i haven't used sorry excuse me so we've got the um the fab face cleanser there urban vida um, not, I don't think I like that, I can't remember, I think I might have used it once before. I'm going to give it another go, if I don't like it I'll declutter it. Um, I've not tried this one either. So I've got loads of cleansers to do. I've got that Malin and Goetz grapefruit one which I really want to try. I've used this a little bit, it was in the other bathroom, I've brought it in here to try and use it a bit more. Um, actually is that a scrub? It was. I'll leave it in this one though just because there's not much room in my exfoliating ones. Um, Balance me. I don't think I'm a fan of this. I'm going to give it another go and it'll probably be going out. Um, the Amora Vitra, which I'm really interested to try. I've just got that this month. Um, the Om um, Facial Cleanser. This is really expensive, full size, but I made this as a little selection in my latest in beauty. And then just a little Ketafil one. A lot of these small ones are really handy for when I go to the caravan and I can take them over with me. Um, I've got one of charcoal sponges to try. And then there's just a couple of little... Um, sample packets here to try as well so that's theirs and then going up just to my last one where are we sorry there we are so that's them one back up there so my last one is so in here is mainly a few odds and sods really so i have one of these i've still got to try which is a facial scrubber I did have one which was a different brand which I didn't like and apparently this one's meant to be a lot nicer and a lot softer so I will um, give that a go and see. Just popped my Molten Brown um, body lotion in there. Um, this is a foaming cleanser from Temple Spa. I've used it a couple of times, it's quite nice. It's a um, micellar foaming cleansing water. Um, oh, my favourite, favourite. Um, Eye makeup remover, I have these all over. I've got loads in my um, makeup room and have these in each bathroom. They're just, it's fabulous. It gets waterproof mascara off so easily. Um, so this is a Caudalie, um, what's this, a, a facial, sort of foaming cleanser. I don't think I've tried that yet. Um, I have the, um, the Kiehl's Micellar Water. I've got another one on the go of this. Um, it's really nice. And then just a little hand cream, Kath Kitson, one there. So that is what I've kept in this cupboard. Um, I just stuck my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream down there and I've moved my deodorants into another little unit. But yeah, so that is just what I'm trying to get through just now. I've got a few things left out that I am going to um, move out of this bathroom so i've just got this exfoliating facial scrub i'll stick that into the main bathroom and then i've got that there just in case um i'm in there getting ready likewise i've got this um hot cloth cleanser and this is from Superdrug. and let me tell you it is really really good and i think it is a really good dupe for the liz earl and um, cleanse and polish so if you can't afford a really expensive cleanse and polish or you just don't want to spend that much money this is so cheap. I'm sure it was under five pounds and it's honestly absolutely lovely. Um, moving on, I've just got some things in here that shouldn't have been there, like creams and stuff. So I've got some night cream here, which I'm gonna move into my um, skincare through my room. Got the micellar water, little sleep spray, um, a second um, cleanser from Melon & Goetz, night cream, boob tube, not quite sure. I must've got that in something meant to lift your, lift your boobs um, it'll need more than that little tube to help me with mine um, Silver Kinsley needs to go into my hair care um, what's this one? Oh, this is really nice this is a night recovery cream oil I've nearly finished it, it is so lovely um, it's a cream but it feels like an oil and then a couple of spare Dermalogica microfoliants um, some Paula's Choice retinal treatment I've had it for ages, I just wonder if it needs to go out, I'm not sure, I'm going to just check it, check the dates, 
and some eye cream which I actually might pop back in here but at least I've got a spare eye cream just in case I've not put it on and then when I brush my teeth for see it I can do it So that's it done. I think I've done quite well. Um, Glenn's just been up and says, oh, so where's my stuff then? And he was a bit like, oh, so I get that little tiny skinny space at the side. And I was like, yep. And yeah, there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as I say, um, those little containers were £1.50 each, which I think is a fantastic buy. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do give me a thumbs up and um, leave a comment down below if you've got any sort of storage solutions or any good ideas or how you keep your um, sort of cleansers and things like that. So take care for now, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>